something for your custom character into Anime's app or um, Anime's editor. So Anime's is an uh, avatar software suit that supports importing several types of formats. So uh, importing F FBX models into Anime's. FBX is the main uh, format for importing complex preformed 3D avatars into Anime's. It allows full control over the materials, animations, or uh, special actions. You can build custom animations that are compatible only with the mechanics and the proportions of your, of your avatar using this format. Building uh, the FBX models uh, needs, to, needs to be done with, uh, via traditional 3D editing package like Blender, 3D Max, Maya, Moto, and etc. Uh, once uh, your model is ready, it needs to be exported as FBX. I'll show you how uh, how it look. Uh, how it's looking uh, in the folder before import. So I prepare here the source file for avatar hot dog. I have only the avatar and the skeleton here. It contains no animations. As you can see, and the animations here, it contains only the joints that are moving in this specific animation. Okay, uh, let's import the avatar into the anime's editor. Uh, we covered how to bring uh, models using the Animes app. Now let's go through the Animes editor. Uh, you have to go to Assets, Import 3D Object. Go to Assets. Select the avatar file. The editor will recognize uh, the texture folder and the animation folder. Uh, it will recognize them if they are named according to our documentations. Um, then uh, you select the 3D object type. If you have a prop, you will select prop. If you have an avatar, you leave it as it is and hit import. Uh, I need to mention that the FBX format cannot be imported. Uh, cannot be imported uh, directly into the Anime's app. He can be only imported through the editor. It will take a few moments. So basically, now it's converting uh, all the files, all the big files, all the uh, PNG files or TGA files. We have a log here, we have only warnings. And I'll cover how to set up a simple material. So this is our avatar, the grid uh, represents one meter square. Uh, I'll need to scale it down a little bit. It's, it has like three meters right now. So I'll put a zero, zero is all dot seven something like that, we go to reset camera and save item. As you can see, uh, the editor already recognized the materials, the existing materials. If you are selecting um, a mesh from your material, it will uh, be highlighted in, uh, in the left panel. And in the right panel, we, ha we will have um, uh, the material components. So uh, you need to hit add component. It already presents diffuse texture and normal map. And uh, add, for example, the specular map. Let's select the texture. Here it is. Double click it. And now we can adjust it. If you are not happy with the result, we can increase the specular intensity 
we can uh, adjust the specular shyness multiplier to obtain the desired effect. Now it's too shiny. Something like one, I think, would be enough. And uh, let's uh, add another component. For example, uh, add a subsurface scattering uh, component. Okay, it's looking like this because did not have the right texture. So I'll go here to change it. I'll use a white texture, a simple white texture, uh, to see if affects um, if it affects your mesh. You can check here in the shadow. Disable is more sharper. Enable is not a sharper. So basically, it's uh, allowing to the light to pass through through it. You can increase the effect of subsurface scattering as you wish, but I'll leave it on one. Uh, so the material, um, the material, uh, sh the shader is built uh, in this way um, because uh, you want if you uh, so we uh, this shader support various combinations of components, allowing you to use only the necessary components to obtain the desired effect. For example, if you have a metallic surface, it's not necessary for the material to contain the surface, the subsurface scattering or the four component. Um, it, it will only load the material with uh, unnecessary elements and uh, increase the amount of processing in real time. Uh, and this, we do not want this to happen. So, uh, if you are happy with your result, let me just at least to create the eyeshadow component. <laughs> For this component, we have to remove the lighting and change it from opaque to blended or alpha test. I'll let it on blended. Save your material. It's important to save uh, each material after uh, each modification. So, if you are happy with your result, uh, now we could uh, add a new special actions. The process is the same as the, as in the case of the mannequin. We could uh, click on configure special actions, add actions, go to the avatar hot dog animations folder, and choose the hello special action. It will be imported. Click OK. Now it's activating. If you are happy with your result, let's say uh, for uh, for this example is enough. Click here, save item again. Then bundle. Select the resource folder of the animated detail, or if you prefer. To, to have another folder, I see no problem. You can choose that uh, that one. Um, it's already here. You can uh, import it import it uh, directly to the app by drag and dropping or copying uh, it in the resources folder of the Animes app. Uh, 